What's going on guys? Welcome back to another daily YouTube video where we cover the market, our trades and all the content by you. Today is Wednesday, but it's not your regular Wednesday. We've had a ton of content. Best of has been re-released with a new team of the week, SBC and a crazy icon pack. And on top of that too, we have a ton of leaks for you all. Some which are specific to just us and no, no one else even has. And here you can see someone has just followed the Twitch stream. So good time to segue into. Make sure you follow the Twitch stream. We stream twice daily from 3pm to 7pm and 11pm to 1am every single day. We are live for content and getting some leaks for other people too. Also, join the free Discord right now. Every single person starting from today on Thursday will be getting three days free Patreon uh, for the entirety of Black Friday, basically until Sunday afternoon. So make sure you join the Discord. Every single person in the Discord will be able to see trades such as this. Now, in terms of the leaks we have today, we do have our own very own leak, which we have leaked and no one else does have. And it is Ruben Loftus-Cheek with his official stat is going to be the objective card. Of course, follow my Twitter for this kind of a leak. No one else has posted this. Um, people have leaked Ruben off the sheik, Ruben off the sheik, but no one leaked him as an objective, nor his official stats and the objective. Not looking too bad. Uh, kind of coolish uh, objectives because you get 80 times 2, 81 times 2, 82 times 2, and 83 times 2 just for completing him, which isn't too bad at all. Yeah, that is Ruben off the sheik, and that is one of our leaks. Another leak we got as well with some other packs, and here are the prices. If you want to have a look at all that, nothing too, too crazy or interesting. And in terms of the content for today, as I mentioned, there was a crazy store pack, a jewel icon pack, which you can see in a short on my channel was absolutely horrible for me. We got a daily log. I'll just show you here. We got a daily login. Mbappe, of course, has turned up here. Here he is with Rapid Plus instead of Quick Step Plus. They've changed that. It's coming in at around 4 mil, which isn't a terrible price for how good the card is. Lots of squads, lots of um, packs given back as well. Probably coming back at, looking back at uh, around... 3.8 mil worst case after the pact without using any untradeables, which isn't too, too bad. We've got Flash SBC, as you can see, they've started 82 times. 82 plus team of the week is now here and unlimited repeatable. Same requirements as last week, just unlimited now you can do. And 81 double, of course, is... Is that new? I think we had an 80, 80 plus double, so that must be new, right? And I bet this requires all rares. Let's have a look. 81 double rares and it requires 11 rare golds. Yeah, so rare golds will have some demand because of that. In terms of actual leaks on Twitter, it's been a crazy day for leaks. We've had a lot of them as well. So here are all the cards that are leaked to come in the promo, but um, obviously these are not the official stats. Every single card here should be in the Thunderstruck promo. So some crazy, crazy cards we're looking at. Vinny, Neymar, um, Bernardo Silva's good one. De Jong has been leaked to come as the SBC, supposedly. Ansu Fati's in the team. Got the Pi, Rip Evolution owners, Fred Frimpong, Isaac, not Isaac, sorry, Fakir. Gomez, Klostman, Alfonso Davies are quite crazy cards, honestly. And if we have a look here, you will also see on foot Sheriff. Let's quickly go there. That he did leak Alan St. Maxim to get an SPC as well. So the Saudi links are looking pretty good there. Nesta has been leaked to come as a uh, regular Thunderstruck card. Muller has been leaked as a buying card. Cafu as a Roma card. Muller, obviously, as a buying card. Romero was leaked to come as an SBC as well. Those are your two SBCs. It's looking like St. Max and Romero. And it looks like we're still doing another flashback. And um, yeah, it does look like the other SBC, which he has also leaked for sure, is Frankie De Jong SBC. Hopefully, this is the right De Jong and it's not Luke De Jong or something because Ajax top of the league. Frankie De Jong would be a fantastic addition to anyone's team and would be very, very, very hyped. If we pull up the scoreboard right now as well, you'll be able to see he did get... Um, New loading screen today, and this is it. So Centurions, Road to Knockout, and Trailblazer cards are all at risk of being put back into packs today on Thursday, as this is 23 hours ago, and it's 10 p.m. on Friday, on Wednesday. So be aware, all three of these cards coming to packs is trouble for all of those cards and the rest of the market, so you probably don't want to be buying any cards there. The other loading screens, just some best of Team of the Weeks back into packs. This is current Team of the Week. Mo Salah in again, Bon Matty. Uh, Komen, Araujo, Diaz, and yeah, all of these cards are obviously very cheap. But here are the re release team of the week. So you've got some really good ones in here v VVD, Griezmann, Valverde, Renard, Sun, Usman is in, Jude Bellingham is in, Rodrigo, Goretzka, Doku, Goalkeeper, Giroud, and Lamptey. So pretty damn good team of the week. They've been re released into packs. Now, if we go on for bin and we'll look at the current team of the week, you will see this team is very, very cheap. And so doing so many impacts for four hours. Well, that is because we've had lightning rounds. Araujo is already only 100k, which is crazy. So it's going to be insanely cheap for an inform Araujo, which would normally be quite more, quite a lot more expensive. Komen is already 162. Lauren James, 77. And these are just four hours after content, which is normally a point where 
These cards would never be anywhere near this low, but this is what lightning rounds that do. We do have Alaba here as well. Salah is only 700, as I said. Diaz is 67, which is crazy, considering almost a similar card was 1 mil for his road to knockout. And then Barella is 47k. So you can see the theme is everything is very cheap. Sabasai only 44k as well. The general theme is everything must die. A lot of these cards died also today. Deli Ali was down around here and dropped very, very low. Koulibaly has a nice little rebound, maybe mainly because of St. Max and a few other cards. Alvin is up a little bit. Caramo is honestly looking like there is little to no demand. And with all the panic of the new cards coming, I probably wouldn't even touch a card like this anymore. Even though I tried to make a quick trade. Oh no, he's 59k. So maybe my one will sell. I had to pick him up. So that's just an undercut. Uh, quick, quick quick little rebounds on these cards. You want to be out of these before six. Marlon's even rebounded. He was around 18k at one point. So there are rebounds going on across the market. You just have to go find them. As it doesn't look like FC Pro or Triple Threat will be back into packs. But as the top tier cards come down, these cards come down too. Thiago's had a big dump today. Obviously the league center mids are not going to help. With Ruben off the chic objective and potentially a De Jong SBC as well. Cow is holding on relatively well. Cascarina is down quite bad. And Pembe is also down quite bad, even though we got the Mbappe SBC. Generally, there's fear everywhere, as there should be with all the Black Friday SBCs and lightning rounds, the market should be crushed. You can see 82s are down, obviously supply on these cards, and 83s are down from yesterday. So you can pick up good opportunities on bids in these times. 84s are still getting killed as there's no demand. 85s still pretty flat, if anything, very, very cheap. And 86s are getting low too. 87s not really moving either and 88 up a little bit nothing too crazy 89 is also up a little bit and then you see more movements on the 90s they're much higher and the 91s also higher so the higher rated fodder seems to be 88 plus are doing best uh it seems to be 89 plus to be specific are doing the best mainly because the map has a lot of expensive squads people need them just for a quick run through on the amount of stuff you need for this guy it's 85 85 86 86 loads of 86 87 so many 87 squads 88 and 89s too so you can already bet, uh, bet that people need the expensive cards as the high rated cards, sorry, as there are a lot of special cards, a lot of team of the week even required too, which will bring the rating down. Now, if we have a look at the team of the weeks, I have no idea what the current team of the week price is, but we did see a little rise at content. And it looks like they're all chilling around 27k. So again, nothing really to, oh, that looks like they're 29k in game. So maybe they're 30k. I probably wouldn't trade team weeks with the amount of supply we're getting on the market, but it does seem like for now, the supply on these cards is pretty low. We did make a fantastic trade today on the stream. We bought 13 of these Sam cards for 240 to 250k and sold them all for around 284 plus. So that's really easy money. Unfortunately, we did waste it on the new store pack, the double icon, and we did get Lampard and tell me, which is tough. But yeah, 82s on bids would be fantastic. 83s would be good too. Don't forget we have a new season starting today on Thursday, as well as um, some rivals rewards coming through as well. They both coincide with the Thursday and the re-release of Centurions, Road to the Knockout, and Trailblazer cards. If you look across this page, you should just really be seeing panic on a lot of cards. As cards are predicted to get re-released. And in all honesty, I'm trying to avoid buying any cards or flips right now. Unless it's a very, very quick flip. Because I may have said that Wednesday today was a Friday. But Thursday tomorrow is also a Friday. And so is Saturday, Friday is a Friday. In terms of the market and how it's going to move into 6pm. You're going to see panic on a lot of cards. If you see an opportunity for some flips. Maybe we can have a look at Sam Kerr right now. If she's down to 250, I'm in. But knowing this card, who knows where she could be honestly. She's at 285k right now. So we'll see how she moves. If she comes down, we'll be buying the dip for sure because she just seems to be skyrocketing. I also have a couple of the other Nike Mad Ready cards in um, Enzo and Chiesa where, oh my god. These cards are up a huge amount. <laughs> I bought this guy last night for 25k and sold for 30 and was happy. And look, he's done the same thing again, all the way to 35k. If this guy can get anywhere low tonight, probably a buy in honesty as people are clearly coin transferring with Chiesa and Enzo now, so those are the new cards. But there's another card people are also using for coin transfers, and it's now Dejalo. So keep an eye on this card. If he comes near 70k, you do want to buy, but you need to be careful that he might be put back into packs tomorrow. Well, he will most likely come back to packs. Be aware of his supply potentially increasing quite quickly, guys. All right. Other than that, guys, make sure you follow the Twitter and you get access to the earliest leaks and leaks which no one else has leaked yet in terms of official stats and requirements and packs. And cost of packs. So yeah, you get information before other people. So make sure you give that a follow, guys. Of course, follow the Twitch channel too. We stream twice daily and we'll be live at content every single day. And we seem to get leaks around one hour before content, sometimes helping us make a lot of coins into 6 p.m. And then again, as I said, guys, join the free trading Discord. You get access to early leaks 
and everyone for the next three days will have access to the Patreon. And you don't want to miss this opportunity because it's Black Friday and there should be a lot of Flash SPCs. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you next one tomorrow. Peace.